What's up guys, Chris Tips one how's everyone doing? Today, my first ever Q&A video. During this Q&A video, we're gonna be watching some Steep. Now, the last time I recorded Steep, it was my worst dipping experience video. Um, that was a fun video to do, but uh, that recording session with, all, with the skis and everything, that was my first time playing the game. I'm a lot better now, and I got plenty of footage that I'm gonna be recording on this game, but today we're gonna to focus on the wingsuit. I was stuck in this challenge for fucking ever, man. But we'll go ahead and play this challenge, this mission here in the background, and we'll, and we'll go ahead and start this video. This is a I'm going to try to go quick here. Um, some questions will be answered a little bit longer because they need more explanation, but I want to get enough questions in this video as much as I can. But let's go. First one is by Gary Londo. How often do you go through a log? Well, a five can roll. Holy shit, five. I go through about a can and a quarter a day. So five cans will last me three and a half to four days. I work behind a fucking cubicle. All right, next question is by Richard Barbie. Yo, Chris, what do you drive? A lot of people ask this question, and um, <laughs> I'm not ashamed at all. I drive a 2013 Corolla, okay? But before you guys start laughing, it's a sport. Next question is by the Mountaineer Dippers. Fuck, Mary, kill Maggie, Jesse, or yourself? <laughs> oh, 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 this one was easy, okay? Um, I'm going to fuck myself, you know, fucking rub and tug. I mean, if I have to, I'll fucking turn my dick around and literally fuck myself and then i would kill jesse and marry maggie simple that, that i didn't even have to think about that one sorry jesse love you bro but i'm not gonna kill maggie and i'm not gonna marry you and i am not gonna fuck you you would do the same next question joss luster deadly video man really the earl devil was deadly did anyone yeah we did die maybe once or twice do you hunt at all uh no never been hunting um i've always wanted to hunt but um i will go hunting one of these days i would hunt anything but i would not hunt bears um <laughs> uh they're they're kind of mean and they'll uh, they'll fucking kill you have you seen the revenant <laughs> but no um uh, obviously if, like if i was out hunting elk or whatever and we stumbled upon a grizzly um if fucking winnie the pooh starts fucking charging me i'm gonna fucking shoot that motherfucker but uh yeah i don't like to play i don't want to play with bears they're they'll fucking kill you Next question, William Steven, how was your first day at Mud Jug? Well, my first day was awesome. It was just like this picture right here. Fanny pack and all. <laughs> Let's see, next question is by Rene Cowboy. Are there any dips you haven't tried? There is one dip I haven't tried that I really want to try, and I don't even think they make it anymore, but it's Cope Hickory. I've heard mostly bad things about this dip. By the way, Cope Straight, not Copenhagen, Cope Straight is fucking one of the worst dips I've ever fucking tried in my life. <laughs> Mark Wilson, what's your first titty bar experience? Experience. It was uh, this place called Little Darlings. It was in Lemon Grove, I believe, in San Diego. It was uh, full nude. They did not sell alcohol. I don't know how it is in other states, but if they do serve alcohol, it's only topless. If they don't sell alcohol, it's full nude. So we were 18. We went to the full nude because we wanted to see... <laughs> Oh, man, back then, I don't think the shaving trend was... Yeah, maybe it might have just started. <laughs> Fucking bush and tits. Next question, hardcore bolt. What would you be doing if you weren't working at Mud Jug? But if I never started at Mud Jug, I would definitely, you know, I did volunteer work and internship work at a crime lab doing forensics, just like, you know, Dexter or whatever. But um, definitely forensic work is what I would want to be doing. Next question is by Cody Van Dorp. Haha, <laughs> great vid, bro. Yee -hee. Oh, Bo, not bro. <laughs> would you quit dipping to date Maggie? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. dip or Maggie? That's, that's the fucking golden question, man. Maggie or Dip? Holy shit, man. I mean, I don't know. Do, I mean, do I get to play hide the penis with her? I mean, we are only dating, but just say it's for marriage, right? My chick. I get to motorboat her butt cheeks. I'd quit dipping for that. Nope. I, dude, dude, I should never quit dipping for a girl. But this is fucking Maggie. That smile, those eyes, those lips. Fuck. Wow, what a fucking question. Dude, that is so fucked up. <laughs> that, why would you ask that? That's the, that's a dick move. <laughs> Let's see, next question is by Varndog43. <laughs> if the zombie apocalypse hit and you had to choose five person team, who would you choose? Oh, that's that's fucking easy. Darcy, number one. Darcy's a fucking prepper. That dude's my boy. Um, Conor McGregor, uh, Joe Rogan, so that's four, and then and uh Maggie, Lauren Cohen. Yep. I would like to have some post apocalyptic sex. Shit's gonna suck. And I need to get my dicks. All right, next question. Crazy Kush asks, Chris, have you ever... Oh, Crazy Kush. And... Weed every day. 
I think I just picked your question because of the name. <laughs> but no, I've never been mudded. Next question is by Gary Grivet. CD1, your videos keep getting better. Aw, how nice of you, Gary. Thank you. <laughs> uh, how is that make Darcy your fucking boss? I don't even see Darcy as my boss. Even though, like, if you don't get your fucking work done, he'll fucking, I don't know, maybe murder you. <laughs> So I got that going for me. No, but he's he's my boy, dude. We golf together. We train together. We work together. I mean, fuck, dude. But yeah, I don't really see him as a boss, but he will fucking murder you. All right, next question is by the Arkansas Dipper. What new flavor would you want to dip? Uh, tits. Next, Jonathan Simmons. Yee yee. Yee yee. I gotta work on those. Tits money vid. Thanks, bro. Would you still think Maggie is sexy if she dipped? Whoa, 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 whoa. That would be sexy as fuck. I would put a pinch in between her butt cheeks and fucking try to pack my lip. Like, oh, I'll try to fucking put pinches of dip in my mouth from her ass. <laughs> <I> fucking twisted. <laughs> yes, the question, the answer is yes. All right, next question is by Taylor Velez. Hey, Chris, in your last video, you said you started making videos. You felt nervous because you're not a rednecky dipper. Do you still feel out of place? And do you think your videos have changed uh, for a YouTube dipper? Uh, thanks, man. Keep up the great work. Thanks, brother. All right, man. So let's go to your first question. Uh, making the videos felt nervous because you're not a rednecky dipper. Do you still feel out of place? You know, most YouTube dippers are, you know, rednecky, southern, you know, whatever you want to call it. I am the complete fucking opposite. <laughs> I'm a fucking city boy. I mean, fuck, look around. So yeah, maybe that's why, you know, I only have like 39,000 subscribers. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't fit that demographic, I guess. But uh, you guys love me. That's all fucking matters, right? Pack lips and smash chicks. But I'm fine, brother. It's all good. Next question is by Bryce Philby. Laugh so hard, I damn near pissed myself. Question, does your family know about your channel? And if so, do they watch your videos? Ooh, wow. Well, my twin brother, Alex, uh, he loves my videos. Let's see, my mother, my mother's fucking awesome. She she loves my videos. They, they, they laugh their ass off, which is fucking mind blowing because it's weird because they're actually seeing me, you know? But, uh, you know, fuck it, right? All right, and let's see here. I got a few more questions that I screen grabbed right before I started filming. Andrew Faye, Chris Ipswan, please answer this in a Q&A. Whenever I spit, it's really stringy, and I have to use whatever to wipe off the spit all over my face, and it makes it really hard to spit in my mud jug. How can I fix this and spit like you and Darcy? Whoa, that's the first. I want to spit like CD1. And anyone else have any tips or a way to help? I've uh, tried more water, less food, no sugary drinks, etc. Please help. Well, um, unless you're a fucking kimono dragon, Andrew. If you drink enough water, bro, trust me, your dip ain't gonna be fucking stringy. Or your dip spit isn't gonna be stringy. If you pack a lip right after you eat, right? Say you go to college junior, you eat a burger and a fucking soda, you're gonna get stringy spit, especially right after you eat. But if you drink water or you drink water while dipping, you shouldn't have any stringy spit, dude. Unless you're a fucking kimono dragon. But there you go, Andrew. I hope it helps, dude. Just drink fucking more water. <laughs> I mean, dude, you've said it. I've tried more water, less food, no sugary drinks. Less food, no sugary drinks. Dude, it's like you don't need to go on a diet. Let's see. Preston C. Chris, what's your favorite place you've ever visited? Oh, man. I have, I have a few. Um, DC was fucking awesome. Vietnam Memorial, the Holocaust Museum, the, the you know, standing in front of the White House. Having the Declaration of Independence one foot from your ass and then like it's like fucking mind-blowing like I fucking turn left and I'm like Nicolas Cage don't fucking steal the Declaration of Independence <laughs> but DC was definitely uh, fun um, I've been to London I've been to Dublin Ireland those were some of my top favorite places Tennessee was really fun but um, yeah I can't really pick one bro all right next question is by Kyle Ravenscroft I have two questions um, Damn, Kyle, fucking stingy, bro, asking two questions. What a... No, it's fine. <laughs> what videos do you personally enjoy making more? The ones where you hang out and play Xbox or the dip videos? How did you get your job at Mud Jug? Whoa, Kyle's your lucky day. I made a video about that like a month ago, two months ago. Check it out. Don't take anything serious, Kyle. I'm just fucking with you, bro. But um, that's a good question, though. Um, do I enjoy making gameplay videos or dip videos? I do enjoy making these gameplay more than just a regular dip video. And that's it for your questions for this video, guys. Again, the title says number one. I'm hoping to do more in the future. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. 
All right, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is I won't be able to upload a video on Sunday. The good news is because Jesse and Al are coming down tomorrow. So I'm going to be busy filming shit with them, vlogging, I don't know, maybe a real life GTA part two video. Who knows, man? But yeah, so I won't have any time to, to film this weekend and edit a video up. But I do have I, I do have some outtakes from the Earl Dibbles Jr. video. I've been recorded for like an hour and a half and I only put 15 minutes up. But there's a lot of funny outtakes. If you guys want a video for that on Sunday, I, I won't be able to give out a mud jug because that video will be edited probably Thursday night. And all the questions won't be coming in and in time. And I won't be able to film that because I'll be freaking busy this weekend. So... If you guys want to see some outtakes of the How to Be a City Boy with Earl Devils Jr., then I can post that on uh, Sunday. Because this Thursday, I'm finally going to release, well, not this Thursday, but a week from today, hopefully, if everything permits, I will be releasing my new merch. And finally, I get to show you guys the, the new logo and the new fucking tits money shit that I got coming. And uh, so next Thursday, it'll be, you know, I'll show my new merch and we'll play that scary game and hopefully I can get Jesse Ryan in here. This Saturday at the Mud Jug headquarters, if you're down here in San Diego, Camp Pendleton, or if you're in you know L.A. or whatever, Vegas, Outlaw's doing a meet and greet at the Mud Jug headquarters on Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. Um, Jesse Ryan will be there. Darcy will be there. I'll be there. So if you guys want to you know, fucking come hang out, pack lips and talk tits, you know, we can do it. And all right, let's give away a T-Rex Mud Jug. And the winner is boom. You won, man. Hit me up on Facebook or Instagram with your uh, shipping address, and I'll go ahead and ship you that Titty Rex Mud Jug ASAP. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to give uh, another Titty Rex Mud Jug in the next video. Not Sunday's video if I'm uploading Sunday, but on Thursday when I release my new merch, I'll give out a uh, Titty Rex Mud Jug. So like, comment, and subscribe. Again, let me know if you guys want that outtakes video on Sunday. I can go ahead and mash something up really quick, and I think, dude, trust me, there's plenty of good footage that I could probably post. But you guys all know this. If you ain't dipping, you ain't fucking living. Check out uh, star here. Yeah. Over here. Check it out, nurse. Donald Trump gets a big yee yee from Earl Dibble Jr. He's gonna build that wall. Yee yee! <laughs> Alright, let's go. We gotta make a pit stop. Sorry, Earl. We'll get you there in time.